What is up, guys? Welcome back to Ender Lily's Quietest of the Nights. And we're still stuck in the Verboten Domain, so let's uh, make an attempt to get, get out of here. Um, those giant amalgamations are not doing us any favors, so we'll see if we can uh, get past them now. I took a little break. Maybe things will go better now. Famous last words, right? <laughs> But you never know. Uh, I think we want to kill these guys first, just so they don't chase us. All right, pretty good. Oh crap! Um, all right, that's fine. Okay. We can work with this. It's not ideal. Alright, that attack is so awkward to dodge. Alright, one more to get through here, I think. Yeah, this guy. Okay, Hoenier deletes them, which is good to know. That attack right there, man. Alright, that was better than previous attempts, so... Also level 93. Did they not attack then? It didn't, that just kind of ran at us. Oh god. Oh, you know what? The dragon would probably be really good for this area to deal with these guys. Okay. Be cool if we did friendly fire. Alright, we don't need to fight those guys. What is this way? Have we drop I've dropped down a new corona. Yeah. Alright, cool. Is there another one here? No, there's not. What is this? Is there a secret here now? Alright, so we, we I got down here last time. I forget what happened once we were down here. I think we might have just been on low on hills. Took this across. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's these things here now. Platforming action. Gotta watch our our spirit consumption. Actually, it's kind of getting low. God damn! Oh my god, that was so much damage. Oh, you know what? You have to drop off of the uh, the thing going across. That's what it is. I'm not gonna do that right now. That sounds like a bad idea. Let's just make it through this area, possibly. Did not need to take that damage. Let's hope we're getting close. 
All right, there's a respite there. There could be a boss fight coming, getting close then. Honestly, let's let's rest here. I don't. It's fine. There's obviously a lot of unexplored areas I just ran through, but it's fine. I wanna. We'll check the bottom area over here. That's an eyeball right there. That's terrifying. What is this man doing down here by himself? Oh God, really? Oh, okay. That was smooth. Good thing we got the respite, right? Dude, they're like lining up their attacks. Hey, I got the counter. Here. All right. Well, we're here now. Oh, incompetent sinner. Come here. Oh, I wasted that so badly. That is not what we want to do. All right. Well, we can go unlock him. Oh, I wonder if they, no, nah, that wouldn't make any sense for a summon or for a regular spirit to help you swim. I don't think. I don't mean, you never know though. Let's uh let's do, let's do the try again. I like can't even see him underneath here. Everything blends in. All right. Incompetent center. The incompetent center will grab hold of you and dart forward, propelling you both some distance. Okay, so it is for swimming, actually. A center sealed in the subterranean lab. Once a curious and bold man, he ventured into the blighted and forbidden verboten domain. His blighted form was found sometime later, non-violent and lucid. So I wonder if that means there's some sort of swimming thing you have to do in the bladed area that requires you to move very fast. So we haven't, oh, okay. I fell off here before I think, or it might've been the one before this that I didn't make it across. Wait, there we go. I mean, you can just suicide run through here, right? I'm pretty sure this is going to be a one-way trip, so we're going to go with the yes there. So you literally could just swim across here and be fine. Well, not fine. We'll put, oh, what, but you're stuck here. Oh, no, you're not. Okay. Check this side then. Oh, can you just... Oh, all right. So we're back over here now. Nice. All right, well, we have the fish man if we need him for any other subterranean adventures. Let's keep on going. Faden's Archives 2, the Verboten Domain, a dangerous place no doubt corrupted by the Blight that once served as the home of the ancient sorcerers. 
If we can learn more about the ancient magic responsible for the Blight's origin, I'm sure it will help the White Priestesses. It may even lead to a world devoid of the Blighted Affliction. Uh, how do I... Oh. Oh. That... Oh, shit. There's a White Priestess here. I still cannot fathom that the White Priestess was some sort of experiment. Yeah, so... Their creation definitely has is tied to the verboten domain. We know that. Convergence. I, I think I found all of them. Um. Yeah, we can't go through that door yet. So yeah, so they were created down here by maybe Faden and his associates. Um, but we have a problem. This is not the end of this area. Like I was hoping it would be. I mean, you can go here now, which is good, but like, where do you go from here? I don't know. All right, there's nothing down there. I was hoping to find something, but I guess not. Stop with the combos, boys. So, I mean, we take this back across. I mean, this is not getting us anywhere, though. Can I not make that jump? Oh, there we go. Holy crap. Crap. Nope, nope, not good, not good. Nice. The amulet fragment, this area is done. Um, it's back to the respite. Take a look around where we're at here. So. It almost makes sense to go back across.
out. Chill, fish man. No one tried to hurt you. That was actually really smooth. Okay. So this will go this way. There's something over here we need to do, I think, still. Now somehow this connects up that way. I'm not clear on that yet. Because the goal was to get continue down the elevator shaft. But we can't do that quite yet because um, there's the, 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 the gates are blocking us over there. I get up there? Can I go on top of these? Sure doesn't seem like it. Well, actually, hold on. I don't know if I've been this way yet or not. Okay, so we didn't... Okay. I don't think so, actually, because that, that's blocked, so... It's getting easier to fight these things now we kind of know what they're going to do. First, these enemies were kind of a gut check. Alright, there's that. Okay, that's good. Alright, so that's the gate we couldn't find before. That dude's going to blow up. I think it's just meant to be a trap. Why do I want to unlock this path? What does that get me? Oh, well this. Calivia's ring. Reduces cooldown times. The ring of the ancients that lay dormant deep below the earth. A set of ancients lived underground alongside the blight, flowing from the depths. They were called priestesses. That's an interesting tidbit of lore. Oh, okay, so this path, this whole area is complete now. So let's do this. Let's return to the respite and fast travel up to the top part. It's a three. There we go. So we should be able to take an elevator ride all the way down now, I think. I guess that's yet to be seen, but I'm pretty sure we can. Ah, that was stupid. Excuse me, sir. Uh, whatever. Uh, no, I don't want to go this way. Pardon me. how you can't see the enemies when they're in the blight. Like, it, they're not as apparent when they're in the in the blighted areas. Alright, let's go. I think. 
We can at least get lower than we previously did. I don't know if we can get all the way there. I guess we'll find out. The sheer amount of blight that overruns this place is beyond the pill. There's some eyeballs there, which is... That's terrifying <laughs> looking back there, actually. Oh, it's a respite. Now we may be getting close to a boss fight. Faden's Archives 1. The White Priestess cleanses the soul of the afflicted through purification by taking on the Blight in their stead. White Priestesses are born with a natural resistance to the Blight. Their souls are unaffected by it. Thusly, the Blight cannot cause them to lose their minds or be driven mad. However, like the afflicted, the effects of the Blight on the body still linger, causing the Priestesses agonizing pain. If this suffering could be allevi alle alleviated, the burden of the White Priestesses would surely be lessened. Okay. I mean, that sounds like a positive thing, right? All right, let's go. Oh yeah, definitely a boss fight up here. Uh oh, shaking is not good. Oh God, what the fuck is that thing? Muriel the Beloved. Oh wait, there was a something there was a mention of this per, this character named Muriel before. That blows up, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh my nose is itchy. Not a good time for a nose itch. Uh oh. Oh. I didn't even realize I took damage there. Holy crap, this is a tanky ass boss. I think uh, it was one of Faden's records that talked about, like, maybe saving Muriel or something. So apparently, whatever experiments he did to try to save her didn't work. Because, well. This. <laughs> Alright, so we can't hit this. And don't get hit by the claws, because they damn near kill you. Okay, that's new. Phase two, maybe? What? Okay, so the, the claws linger after being sent out. Did not realize that. I thought once you initially dodged them, you were good. Apparently not. All right, real quick. Can, can we drop down here? No. Okay. We don't need to watch her walk out every time. Oh crap, I'm dead. Nope, not yet. Alright, I I'm that's this is a very sloppy attempt. Let's just try again, yeah. Just gotta slow down. This boss fight does not seem that bad. Well, at least right now. I don't know what's gonna happen after this uh, second phase gets gets moving a little better. What? I thought we had invincibility during the attack. Well, that's interesting if we don't. 
Maybe we should use um Julius's alt then. Oh my gosh, my health bar. Oh, right, the, the last couple spins, you can actually move, move uh, Lily again. That's why it happened. Next phase. Okay, hold on. Calm down. Oh, they follow you, okay. So wait, how do you, what's the strat for that then? I don't know what the, maybe, maybe one full dodge to one side, like, like whenever it first pops up, you can dodge the whole thing then. Wait, I want to check, what, what was convergence? We got that. Attain maximum prayer prince. Okay, so we found all the other white priestesses scattered throughout the land then. Back up. Oh my gosh, don't. That was, that's a whiff if I've ever seen one. Oh no, the phasing! All right, let's try this, hold on. Do it. Okay. All right, phase three. I guess singular ball. Holy crap, that burst right there. Whew. Are you actually dead? Please actually be dead. Wait, you can't purify her. Oh no. Wait, am I, am I missing something here? No. Um, that makes me think there might be more to this boss fight. It was all too late. Oh. Oh, I wonder if this is Phaeton then. Muriel, my assistant, my lover, lost to the blight. You never once laid a hand on me. You have proven firsthand that though the blight may trap us in an undying shell of impurity, it will never deprive us of who we are. I've tried countless experiments to bring her back to me, but it has all been to no avail. Thanks to my constant work with the Blight, the Immortal Knights ca came to being. And now, even the White Priestess suffers as a, as a result of my work. Now, now that I've defied the King, surely I will be driven from my lab. He. Ha ha. And it laughs, laughs maniacally, I'm assuming. Oh, that's a spooter. Truly, I'm a pitiful fool without you, Muriel. And yet, I mustn't give up now. Not until your life's work is complete 
Not until we save the White Priestess. Please, Muriel, one day. Muriel wasn't a spider though, right? Let me hear your voice again. That was like a... I don't know what that was supposed to be. Faden, the heretic, manipulates the Blighted to blast enemies. While slow, this deals heavy damage and can blow enemies away at a distance. Thaden, head of the King's Mage Brigade, became unusually obsessed with the Blighted experiments after losing his beloved. He sank into depravity. Unlocked! Oh, that's, never mind. The skill is called Unlock. The magic wielded by Faden can open doors sealed by arcane means. That's the gold doors. The magic wielded by Faden can open doors sealed by arcane means. These locks are common in Land's End. Many use them to protect their valuables. The Blighted Behemoth. Though its mind was gone, I feel as if... It was direly protecting something. Alright, so we unlocked separation and truth. Let's see what those are. Purify Faden and separation. And purify every bloody... Alright, we have, we have now acquired every hero in the game. Muriel's Blighted Letter. Please don't blame yourself. I prepared for this eventuality when I set out to study the Blight. I wanted to tell you face to face, but I couldn't find the words. Please forgive me. There's so much more to do. I hope you'll continue researching in my stead. I'm sorry things ended up this way. Whew. Well, that was a positive story, huh? Faden's archive number five. My repeated experiments have produced unexpected results. I have yet to return a blade to its former consciousness. However, I have successfully created a new blooded, new blooded from a test subject that retains consciousness, thought, and the ability to communicate. I'll have to continue monitoring their progress, but by creating a blooded that retains its humanity, have I unlocked the secret to immortality? At least the king will be pleased. I suppose I could, I could call this substance wrung from the white priestess the deathless elixir, though there's nothing it can do for Muriel. Any trace of humanity left in her has long since dissipated. So I think this is what he gave the knights. Oh, shit. All right. All right. So that's obviously progress that way. Should we just go down there and see what's happening? Why don't we, I don't want to. I don't want I don't want to do it. Hold on. I know we're already, we're at 30 minutes already. This is probably a perfect time to actually stop the, this episode, but I do want to check one more thing. Let's try Faden's attack. Oh. Wait. It's all- Oh, he's, he's a cannon. Okay. I want to go look at something really quick. So we'll go a little bit longer, because I'm very curious right now. So when you first start the game, If you happen to go to the left instead of the right, you find one of those locked doors. I mean, they're obviously everywhere. We're going to go look through all of them, but I do want to see what this one is over here first. Because I feel like it, it's extra important because it's right at the beginning of the game. And I could, be, like, I could be wrong completely. I have no idea, but I want to find out really quick. Oh, the Lily? Oh yeah, she's a little more redder than she was before after she purified Faden. I think her legs are completely blighted now. And she may have additional tendrils behind her. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she's not doing too hot right now. So I was kind of expecting Faden to be evil. So I, it's interesting to see that he was actually trying to save the White Priestess and accidentally, you know, caused a lot of stuff that he didn't want to, want to with creating like the blighted soldiers and stuff. Oh, okay. Let's see where this goes. Ah. Restoring the Aegis Curio. The Aegis, it's Aegis. The Aegis Curio, crafted long ago by the ancients, holds the power to ease the suffering of priestesses who absorb blight while performing purifications. Its power has been weakened 
has been weakened by repeated purifications by priestesses over many years. The power of an ancient spell can be used to restore this power and help the white priestess. If you can decipher the stone tablet, I am prepared to restore the Agis Curio. I wish I could decipher the spell myself, but alas, I have little time left. And we have... Oh, okay. So you maybe you bring the tablets here then? And, and that's the Agis Curio right there? Is that why? I'm assuming that's why it's not the room's not golden. Because you could do this right here. Hmm. So we know that Faden found out about the Aegis Curio. Cause we found a stone tablet already, and it kind of like leads you to believe that. So I'm guessing collecting all of the stone tablets and restoring the Aegis Curio is probably for a secret ending. So, and I'm thinking that that's probably what's behind all those locked doors. It's probably the different stone tablets, or at least trials to get to them. So maybe we should actually um, go through, like, finish the game, and then go back and do that. Like, to see the, what I'm sure, I mean, there's probably an ending for both of those things. One, one where you craft the Aegis Curia, and one where you don't. And I'd like to see all the endings. So I might need to do a little research just to double check all these things I'm saying. Because um, I, I, I want to make sure we get all of the endings we can get. So, Anyways, guys, I think with that, though, we're going to wrap up this episode of Ender Lilies. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.